Just trying to give you an idea where we're going with this. Okay, first off, let's just state the obvious. The internet is a weird place. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Since you're here, my guess is that you probably already knew that. But do you really know just how weird the internet actually is? Between looking up Pinterest recipes and surfing Facebook, you may have come across some cringy posts. But we ain't talking about know how to make some Christmas cake pops today. Mm -mm. Today we're talking about those websites that are best described as a nightmare wrapped in a whole lot of nope. Why these sites exist is not for anyone seen person to try to figure out, yet they exist. So prepare to clear your browser history because these are the 10 creepiest websites on the internet Part two. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, if you're under 18, please do not visit any of these sites. They will mess you up. Number one is the Cannibal Cafe. Okay, let's see here. Uh, man, seeking woman, uh, low body fat, please bring own fork and bib. Oh, what? Though it's been shut down multiple times, the Cannibal Cafe can still be found in multiple forms across the web. This site is all about one thing, providing forums to people who actually want to be eaten to connect with real cannibals who are highly interested in eating them. These incredibly short but intimate, uh, hookups are not the only creepy thing happening at the Cannibal Cafe. You can also find stories on how to make people taste delicious, recipes for cooking basically every body part, and even what wine pairs best with your insides. Huh? So if you ever want to know which body part tastes the best, you know where to look. Number two is Best Gore. Those who visit this site are recommended to not have eaten any time recently. That's because when you visit Best Gore com you're staring at the worst and I do mean the goriest stuff you have ever seen the entire site is one big database of images and videos of gruesome deaths suicides brutal murders graphic executions literally nothing is too disgusting for this site in fact the images are so graphic I literally can't show you anything so here's a picture of a unicorn from decapitations to human shish kebabs this is the stuff of nightmares I cannot recommend strongly enough that you avoid this website. It is honestly and truly disturbing. Unless you're into that sort of thing, Clarice. <laughs> Number three is Take This Lollipop. Talk about unsettling. Created by filmmaker Jason Zada, this interactive online experience plays out as a movie starring you. Connecting to your Facebook profile, it centers on a Facebook stalker, a skinny, crazed, middle-aged man, and follows him as he brings up your account and eventually tracks down your home using Google Maps. The the film continues with the stalker driving towards what's seemingly your home with pictures of you and your Facebook friends taped to his dashboard. Zada made this interactive adventure as a part of a PSA, hoping to show people how posting too much personal information online can have dangerous consequences. Wouldn't you like to let me watch you while you sleep? Number four is the fifth nail. Some websites let you watch videos and some let you communicate with your family and friends. Oh, it's just so nice. And then some bring you into the twisted mind of a murderer. That's exactly what the fifth nail is. It's a blog written by the criminally insane fingertips and brain of Joseph E. Duncan III, who murdered multiple people before being caught on June 2nd, 2005. The blog recounts many of Duncan's actions and how he felt about them, including full confessions to sexual assaults and his history of being sexually assaulted as a child. It is a truly scary glimpse into the mind of a deranged man. Kind of like my YouTube channel. <laughs> Number five is Joy of Satan. While there are many websites out there devoted to Satanism, demons, or of course the devil Lucifer himself, very few of them go to the depths of darkness that the joyofsatan.org goes to. In addition to calling the king of hell all kinds of loving names and giving him all the possible support an online forum can, Joy of Satan also offers spells such as ones to communicate with the devil, methods to give your soul over to the true father of creation, and even descriptive step-by-step -step instructions on how to summon a demon. Oh, and of course, if you have a couple extra dollars, they encourage you to donate for the promotion and advancement of Satanism. <laughs> you know, just if you have some money laying around. Number six is Anna Boot Camp. Whenever you hear about a website devoted to eating disorders like anorexia or bulimia, the first thing you probably think of is a supportive site with positive, motivating, body-positive posts. Yeah, that is not 
the case with AnnaBootCamp.com. This website is actually despicable in pretty much every way. It preys on the doubts and self-consciousness of people and aggressively encourages them to do whatever it takes to make themselves thinner. Though pages on this website claim it's meant to reinforce healthy eating habits, the messages that it delivers makes this one of the darkest places you can possibly go online. This is especially true if you're worried about your weight. Number seven is death date. Few websites are more chilling than one that literally predicts the exact moment that you're going to die. Deathdate.info is a dark, morbid site that asks you to enter your name, age, height, and weight before spitting out the estimated moment which it thinks that you're going to die. Going further with your results, Death Date also provides you with three words that it says are related to your death in some way. For example, freeze, accident, or suicide. I'm not doing this, but I would hope that mine would be something like sleep, uh, drooling in a happy state, just smiles. That's not gonna happen, is it? Number eight is world births and deaths. Part of the appeal of this website is that it brings some joy to the world by seeing how many births there are. Except the same page just seems to bring a chill up the collective spine of the Earth's population. Worldbirthsanddeaths.com gives you, the viewer, live updates on every reported baby being born and every person who dies, complete with daily postings of which country saw the most death each day. Imagine when your life ends, a tiny red dot is going to appear over your home country. This one's for all the people obsessed with population fluctuations, but all I see is how much death there is in the world and it's freaking creepy. Number nine is white enamel. Ugh. Once considered the scariest game on the internet, white enamel is an interactive site which operates as a choose your own adventure type of game in a haunted, abandoned mental asylum. It uses everything from images to eerie audio recordings to out of tune pianos and deranged screaming, all coupled with inserted video clips. While the creators, Restoration Ruined Pictures, claimed that it was just marketing for a fictional documentary they were making, many claimed that it was actually more of a psychological experiment. But either way, it's a very unsettling place to go online. And number 10 is Goodbye Warden. On this site is a collection of 538 things said by inmates in Texas as their final words before being executed. The list dates all the way back to 1982 and contains both apologies for the murders that the inmates committed and very convincing claims that they were completely innocent. It's hard to imagine a website creepier than one full of last words of the deceased, especially when some of those words have come from the individuals who were wrongly convicted. So those were the 10 creepiest websites on the internet, part two. And I know that a bunch of you are more curious than you are afraid, so good luck. But before I let you guys go, I have some big news. I wanted to let you know that I just launched a brand new limited edition t-shirt that is only available for two weeks. So grab it while you can. It's my channel logo made up of the most amazing facts that I have ever talked about on my YouTube channel. This shirt is only available until December 5th and when they sell out they are gone forever. Like actually gone forever. So I wanted to tell you about it while you still have a chance to get one. I suggest you get one either for yourself or for somebody else. The holidays are coming up, it's going to be a great gift. I do have to tell you that these are in extremely limited quantities, so you need to grab one as soon as possible because they're disappearing fast. So make sure you click the link on the screen or in the description to get one before they're gone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, I would really appreciate it if you left a like on it. And on the right, you'll find two recent videos that you can click right now in case you missed them. And of course, you can pick up that limited edition t-shirt right there by clicking the t-shirt link logo thingy in the middle. You see it baby, you on mobile, you on your desktop, you see it. Go ahead and click it, pick one up for the holidays, and that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.